Now to the vote count at the, Dem at the Department of Elections. It has now been more than 12 hours since the count began to determine who will be the Democratic nominee in this year's firehouse primary to fill the seat for the late Donald McEachin. 8 News has continued to keep you up to date as volunteers continue to count at the Democratic Party of Virginia headquarters. And that is where we find 8 News reporter Roland Wilson. And Roland, walk us through what you have been seeing there today. Well, Eric, it's safe to say that today's outcome was unexpected. If you take a look here behind me, you'll see the volunteers who have been in this room for well over 12 hours at this point, hand counting each and every vote. We recently spoke with a committee member who says this is the largest firehouse primary in Virginia with over 26,000 votes. We want to make sure that we get this done right. Um, and we'll be here until we get it done. Fourth District Committee Chair Alexis Rogers is overseeing as volunteers continue to hand count ballot by ballot until they find out who will be the Democratic nominee running against Republican nominee Leon Benjamin. In the running, Senator Jennifer McClellan, Senator Joe Morrissey, Attorney Joseph Preston, and Travoris Marks. As soon as the committee got word of the special election process that would require a Democratic nominee by Friday, the planning process began. People urgently got together to determine how would we send, stand up a process that was democratically run, that was open and transparent, that would allow as many people to participate as possible. What they didn't expect? A large voter turnout. Roger says nearly 26,500 ballots were cast Tuesday, which is almost double the amount that came out for Donald McEachin's primary contest in 2016. It caused long lines at the eight polling locations yesterday, leading to tonight's delayed counting process. Officials telling 8 News, come hell or high water, their volunteers will get it done. This is the volunteer process. We don't have any fancy machines that are scanning through the ballots. We got hands, we got brains, we got calculators. The process has gone from five volunteers counting ballots to 11. Roger says she is proud of how this historic race is going. Again, eight voting locations over 13 hours after one week of planning is just simply unprecedented. Um, we made history yesterday, and I'm really excited about it. Now, keep in mind, this process started at 10 a.m., and right now these volunteers are working on the Richmond precincts and have counted well over 14,000 votes, but there was no word yet on which candidate may be in the lead. Of course, though, stick with 8 News for the latest. Live in Richmond tonight, Roland Wilson, 8 News.